Okay, okay so <clears throat> we'll do the same thing. I'll sure. just introduce. Yep. And then we're going to go right into talking about uh, the Race Boat Hall of Fame. Talking's uh, good. And uh, we will probably spend a little bit of in the introduction. I'll talk about Jamie's and Murray's involvement in the Muskoka Boat and Heritage Center. Do you yep. call it that? Or should I call it Muskoka <laughs> Center? I'm not sure this week. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. We're here with two distinguished gentlemen I want to introduce you to. The driving forces behind the Canadian Race Boat Hall of Fame. On my left, Mr. Murray Walker. Murray, it's good to see you here today. Thank you for joining us. And on my right, Mr. Jamie Smith. With we're, whom doing I spent we're doing this again here. Too many <laughs> hours <laughs> together. Yeah. Uh, just a, a couple of words of introduction. Uh, Jamie, you are the past president of the Antique and Classic Boat Society. That's and that's where we first ran a foul of each other. <laughs> Seems to me we actually met each other in the uh, Boston Pizza restaurant when you were there with Bill Plumstead. That yeah. is true. <laughs> and that was the beginning of the Harold and Lorna uh, yeah. documentary it, on the Miss Canada was. story. Yes. And of course, when I'm talking about Harold and Lorna, you had the misfortune or great fortune of knowing my parents pretty well. Right. I knew them very well and was so impressed with them. Wow. Wonderful people. Well, they were impressed with you. And Murray Walker now has an extraordinary collection of wonderful antique and classic boats, including Little Miss Canada 2, which is my father's first race boat. Yes, I'm very pleased to have that in my collection. You know, it's, it's wonderful. A, it's a wonderful little rocket ship. It is. Yes. And apparently, my dad used to say, you could not do anything wrong with that boat. It would turn on its nose if you cranked on the steering wheel hard enough. Have you had that experience yet? Well, I haven't been as aggressive as your dad, <laughs> but I can remember the time that we were driving Miss Canada 3, and yes. your dad was driving, and I think we, we caught something, and we flipped up halfway to being overturned, and I was scared out of my mind. Your dad just thought that was pretty normal. Cut the throttle, the boat laid down, and on we went. And I thought about that for a number of months afterwards. So he, uh, he clearly was a, a, a fearless racer, and... A, exceptionally accomplished at it so well if he was fearless apparently you didn't learn enough from him to abandon ship completely you've been involved in race boats and collecting race boats yeah. now you've got uh, not only miss little miss canada too you have a rainbow i have rainbow nine yes mm -hmm. i've been very fortunate to have that one and uh Thrilled beyond belief to have Miss Super Test 3, yeah, and uh, even going way back into 1920 with uh, Clary 2, which was a, a displacement racer that raced in uh, Toronto, Detroit, and Buffalo. And so there's quite a, a spectrum there, starting way back in the 20s and working right up through the 60s. And so this, somehow, this collection of working with Jamie Smith and you, Murray, and getting me involved in some way, has led to an extraordinary, extraordinary project. And that is the building of the Canadian Race Boat Hall of Fame. I want to ask you, first of all, Jamie, um, why did you think that this was another way to waste a whole bunch of valuable golf time? <laughs> well, the golf course is good fun, but being able to do something with Murray, and particularly this project, is really exciting for me. Because I helped Murray way back when, when they were building what was originally called uh, Grace and Speed down at the wharf in Gravenhurst. And I did the fundraising for that program with Murray. Yes, and that was extraordinary. And Grace and Speed, a.k.a. Um, Muskoka Boat and Heritage Centre, now known as Muskoka Steamships and Discovery Centre. Is that right, Murray? That's yeah. correct, yes. And you've been involved and still were involved in that. Well, my involvement, I think, stopped probably half a dozen years ago. I had been on that board for about 17 years, and I think it was time to take a rest, Yeah, which coincided nicely with the start of this particular project. So... It's just a continuation, but on a very exciting front with the race boats. First uh, memory I have of digging back into the first discussion about maybe we should was back in 2017. I had the email that you sent to me. And uh, so here we are in 2023, and an update now. We've actually started the business. Murray, what do you see when you drive down Highway 118 there? Well, driving down Highway 118 at this point, we're looking at a great big pile of dirt, a lot of rock that's going to be blasted out of there this week. And in a mere four or five days from now, there'll be the entire building will be arriving by truck in the form of all kinds of steel and insulation. So we're definitely in motion, and uh, it's going to now start to really look like something more than a hole in the ground. But wow. as you know, these things all need a foundation, and uh, that's what we've worked on for quite a long time. Getting approval has taken us three or four years. 
And now we're finally moving beyond the glacial stage and starting to move a little bit quicker. A little bit quicker. That's an understatement, I will tell you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so was, speed it, was it a surprise to you, Jamie, that you ran, ran into a large piece of rock that has to be removed? Uh, not really, because the gentleman that's doing the project for us, by the name of Greg Keeling, who's local to this community, he knew there was rock there. He didn't know how much rock there was there. But uh, yes, it's... Uh, it's going to be fun this coming week. It's going to be a big bang, isn't there? It definitely will. It'll be a blast. No <laughs> question. <laughs> no doubt about it. Yeah. Well, we will be back, I'm sure, to talk about the Canadian Race Boat Hall of Fame. But I have one more question to ask of you. And that is, here you are in an environment with your hands resting on an outboard race boat yes. motor. Um, it's kind of interesting, although you've identified Miss Supertest and Little Miss Canada and Clary and, of course, Rainbow, that we're also talking about the need to, to honor uh, the outboard races yeah. as well. I think we really want to be all-encompassing. I mean, race boats aren't just the great big hydroplanes. Right. Uh, I remember as a kid being, you know, driving around in a little Mini Max, being a really happy kid, and I remember the joy of doing that. And I think we want to involve young people like you did with Megan Freilich a few minutes ago. I think they're wonderful people. They're very talented. Yeah. And as I recall, it was just a whole lot of fun back then. So I'm so pleased that we're going to be involving all kinds of outboard racers. This is going to be quite encompassing all the way through. Well, you know, what we're going to do is when this all comes together, and uh, we're going to get you back in a Mini Max just for the fun of it. I'd love to see the two of you going down the lake together. I hear you have a boat hanging up in the ceiling of your house in Thank the basement. You. And my grandson is all over me. On this one. Yeah, but Harry, you need to get him in the boat soon and then bring it to the Canadian Race Boat Hall of Fame. I will do that for sure. <laughs> Murray and Jamie, thank you very much for your time, and uh, we'll be following very carefully the progress of the Canadian Race Boat Hall of Fame. Thanks, Harry. Thank you, Harry. Thank you.